Welcome back to Gobbles and Warlocks. This is episode, I already forgot what number, 34, I think it was, for Dragonlance. I think we're on episode 34. It's been a hot minute since we're back with the crew. we got a whole new cast lineup. Uh, if you're just joining us on YouTube, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below what your favorite part is or about to be your favorite part. Uh, if you are watching it on YouTube, you missed a live stream of this, so head on over to the Twitch. Links down in the comments to help out the party. There is exclamation point rewards. Uh, somebody can put that in the chat and pin it for me. That would be lovely. Uh, and that will help out the party. You have what you call determination. I think it's 5,000 viewer points. You can give a determination. It, uh, the players can add proficiency to any D20 roll they need to make. Skills, attacks, saves, it doesn't matter. Uh, updates. The um, charity stream will now be moving to bi or alternating Tuesdays and Wednesdays because I cannot avoid going to nights. And the Navy's not playing ball with me. So, uh, yeah. With that being said, we're back with uh, Dragonlance. And once I get on nights, all my games will be going bi-weekly uh, when that happens. So, sorry, guys. It's just it is what it is. So... We do have some new players, but let's go around the horn to the cast to reintroduce themselves because it's been like five months. So uh, we have our lovely friend Rain here uh, playing Dash and Yenvoy. Uh Hi, I'm Cleansing Rain. Uh, you can just call me Rain, Dashjin, or Daz for the duration of this campaign. Um, this is currently the longest running campaign I've ever been a part of and therefore my favorite character that I've ever played very excited to be back with the group with the ever so tantalizing Lady Vera the also altruistic Lady Mila and these other two bums that we're about to meet so looking forward to playing with you all uh, one of the new cast members uh, DVD um, so yeah I'm DVD uh, and I will be playing, uh, Inaris, uh, also a sea elf. Um, and, uh, I've played, I've played a lot of D and D, uh, but I've DM'd more and I'm happy to finally be playing again. Um, so I am looking forward to this. We do have Nihilish returning as Vera. Hey, I'm Nihilish. I'm playing Vera. You're, uh, Kinder Paladin over here. <laughs> That's and about we, it. Yeah, we have Bookworm returning as returning as Mela. Yes, hi. I'm uh, Mela, the Kinder Cleric um, for the campaign. Um, I'm not very experienced in D and D. This is like really my first one I've ever really played, and I'm excited to come back. So let's do it. And then we have the man, the myth, the legend, Sindal, the one I started this campaign for but could not make the schedule work, and he is just now getting around to joining us. So, Sindal. Yeah, I'm Sindal. I'm playing a human fighter named Ellison, and I'm really happy to actually be a part of this. When you announced like you might be doing this, I'm like, this is awesome. Then I didn't sign up for it at all. So, <laughs> I'm now here, baby. I'm so happy. <laughs> Uh, late, uh, better to be late than never, right? Yep. Uh, for our other players, uh, with the move, uh, the schedules just could not line up. And, uh, that's why they're no longer with us. And that's why we're continue altering, uh, the party makeup, but we're going to keep pushing through. So those characters be editing relatively pretty quick. Um, uh, Yeah. Uh, we'll, uh, dive right in. I think Nala is going to do recap for the best of her ability and save me from it. Thank you guys. Uh, sorry. We were a little bit late. I had to reset up everything for the overlays and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. All right. We're getting it. Waiting in the dark I could 
I should I said too much when we were creating yours. Oh, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, Vera, would you like to lead us in tonight's recap? And now I said Vera. I will certainly try. Uh, last time, uh, we were on the outskirts of leaving Camp Carrying Clay. We had sent a message on the far gab, um, to, uh, Derrett and Cudgel and the army. Um, uh, an unfortunate message to one meet up, but also because of, uh, our fallen comrade, Belram. We were going to bring the remains to, uh, to them. Um, we also had one of the people we had saved from Camp Carrion Clay with us, Pinna, I believe, the, the kinder, and she was going, she had talked about leading us to some place after that, that, um, we ended up accidentally running into another person that was from the same place we were headed to anyway, Hearts Hollow. Um, we ran into someone trying to climb a wall with, uh, a bunch of spiders on his ass, um, the name will escape me. He is just going to be spider bait for now. But, oh, I, I, I know you told Slice. me what it was, but Vera Slice doesn't shrimp. care. Slice. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, nice yeah. We, we, we jumped out to uh, help him hesitantly. We didn't know friend or foe, but Hannah recognized him, so we did um, jump to help. In the midst of uh, helping this guy, we ran into someone that has been tailing us since we came to the wastes. Uh, a giant purple worm. And, you know, instead of having any amount of smarts and you running away from that, we we decided to kill it. Because that's apparently what we do. Um, that is also what uh, earns us, earned us the new name instead of... Um, uh, what we were calling ourselves before, we are now the fearless few instead of the favored few. Uh, dubbed so, mostly by Dashin in a song later that night um, when we did meet up with the camp because in the middle of the battle, we uh, had someone join us, um, a fellow knight of Salamnia. No one's going to mess it up now. Except me. Um, I was going to say, except <laughs> for you. Um, yeah, uh, Anita Salamnia came to help us. Uh, Sir Levna. Uh, so we, we killed the worm and headed back to um, the, the battalion. Uh, we then laid Cudgel to rest with her. Not Cudgel. Well, probably laid her fears to rest. Because uh, we laid Balram to rest with a ceremony. Um, Balram also had left some things behind for us. One of which is this this cool armor I'm I'm now wearing, um, which uh, Carrie said I looked cute in. Um, um, yeah. Uh, and we we were with the uh, the army. We were staying with them for a little bit. We're going to continue on to Hearts Hollow next. That is all I remember. <laughs> I mean, as about you had a ceremony, cudgel uh, pretty much ended there. As y'all getting mm -hmm. ready to settle in for a long rest, um, yeah. Uh, as you guys can go ahead and take your long rest. Um, if, uh, our new players don't really need to, but yeah. Before I have another nightly visit with uh, Daz and we start hitting each other when I only have two hit points. Um, <clears throat> the next morning, uh, I'm assuming Vera and Mela are in the same tent and I don't know where Dashin would be at. Um, you guys are left with the letter. I mean, do you want a letter or you want them to uh, kind of say their goodbyes? I can leave it up to you guys. What would your characters prefer? I would probably not prefer another fucking letter. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> so, uh, because Vera, I might be angry enough to follow. Uh, Vera, Mela, and Ashton, uh, you are approached by. My mind just went blank on her. Carrie, and. Um, 
No, I'm not talking to you. Uh, Ziggy saying they want to escort Bellwin's body back to their tribe and ensure it's safe travel. And uh, Mela, you are handed uh, Carrie's bag of holding, which you already sold off stream what was in it and everything. And she said basically that she can't go on without Belrom and Ziggy is going to es help escort her back to with them in safety. So as you know, their bond was pretty tight. And as they head on out, I'll leave it to you, Mela and Dashin before I bring in the other new two players, abruptly. <laughs> Are we gonna just put ourselves at like, as they're kind of walking away and we're waving goodbye in the driveway yeah. sort of deal? Yeah. Kind of, okay, yeah. Cool. Oh, I suppose I'm gonna miss some of them. Both of them. You knew them for what? Couple days? Ah, uh, yes, but Ziggy always gave me the best kind of inspirations for how talented I was and how perfect my songwriting has been. I that you kind have of no praise to just to does not about, come easy. You have no one to talk to about Griffin's balls anymore. Oh. Yes, I will. That's what you miss. I will miss the discussions of the lower mandibles of some of the males, but perhaps you might be interested in entertaining that conversation further? I will turn to Mila. I'm sorry to be speaking such filth in front of you, my lady Mila. Um... Right. Um, I turned to Vera. <laughs> well, what what do we do now? I'm not stealthy enough to ditch him in his own way. <coughs> he continued. <coughs> uh, Sir Dashton. As you turn around, uh, Kudril, somebody's here to see you. Oh, I told you that I don't like to see fans, but all right. Uh, Take me to him. He says he knows you. And as she escorts you back to like the entry of the camp, uh, you see Ishburn. Oh, um, hello, Ishvan. Good to see it's, you. Good to see you, Letty. Uh, it's been a while. I have just wondered Not how you were faring. Well, I suppose on this adventure you've coiled me into, I have been faring pretty well. I've grown a little bit and become a little more talented with my weapons, if you know what I mean. I'm gl glad to see it. You saved so many of our people from Cap Karen Clay. I came to pick them up. And uh, I've actually have somebody here that you know of, but never actually met. Ines, uh, come forth. He will now be as a thank you to help you on your exploits to save and maybe find what you is precious to you. Ines, would you like to describe your character? That dash uh, yeah. sees. So, so, uh, pretty tall, uh, guy with, uh, relatively long, uh, like kind of silverish blue hair and a like leather armor, but not like cover it, like mainly just over his shoulders. Looks like he spends most of his time in the water. 
um, sea elf. So like the nice kind of dark bluish gray skin, um, muscular, uh, you know, just a regular old sea elf, a little bit taller than a normal sea elf though. Uh, Dashun, would you like to describe what he sees? Uh, sure. <clears throat> Uh, Dashin is an average height, uh, maybe even on the shorter side, but not much, just a, a few inches. Um, Dashin looks like he's in his younger years for most sea elves, uh, although we all share that generic youthful appearance. Um, he has light golden blonde, not a pompadour style hair, but kind of think Bradley Cooper, just a, a lot on the front that goes back, um, draped in uh, relatively comfortable uh, and semi-expensive appearing clothes, uh, a loot strapped to his back uh, that is almost always uh, visible alongside uh, a little rod that you can see with a, it looks like a trident, but it's uh, only about three feet long and it's, it's strapped perpendicular to the uh to his back alongside the uh the loot that he carries <clears throat> uh, likewise dark bluish grayish skin tone um fit and in shape not necessarily shredded but contentedly keeps up his his physical appearance clean would be a good way to say it <clears throat> Well, I can't say that I'm upset with having a fellow cultured sea elf travel with us. What did you say your name? The What did Ishvan say your name was? My name is Daenerys. And Daenerys, what is it that you intend to help our fabled, ever-growing in popularity group with? What are your talents? I am a man of many talents, but I do so enjoy the fight. And Ishvan, sir, this is certainly not just a ploy to keep tabs on us, is it? You're muted. <laughs> but uh, he is an envoy of my good graces of uh, you saving our people, Justin. Very well, then. Come with me, Anaris. I should introduce you to the rest of our fearless few. I came up with that name. Fearless, eh? Ah, yes, indeed. Dastion and his fearless few. The rest of the ones are rather short, mind you. Um, then I suppose I would start to kind of like beckon to walk and escort back to the other two. I would, I would follow. No response? From me? Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, back, uh, Ver Vera Mela, where are you at? What are you doing? Packing up, getting ready to leave? What's up? Um, I'm going to quickly just glance through, I guess, a couple of things in the bag of holding. I want to see if maybe we have enough bead of, beads of nourishment, that kind of stuff. I mean, stuff. Yeah, right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, right here. <laughs> um, hey, how's it going? It's going well. Yeah, ready, roll. Oh, good. Um, Would you like some bacon? Boop. I catch the bacon. Oh, thank you, uh, Vera. You want any bacon? Ready, bacon? No, I'm good. 
I'll have a quick nibble of it and then shove half of it back in the bag. So remember how it works, when you shove half of it, it doubles. Got it. <laughs> Trying to remember how it works. Uh... Dane Vera! Dane Vera! Are you here coming from outside the cart? I'm trying to remember her voice, and I don't remember what I did for her voice. <clears throat> I won't. Dane Vera! Yes? <sighs> We're about to wait for a uh, journey? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're totally ready. We can go right now. Come on, Mela, let's go. Oh, okay. Um, well, uh, but, but, but first, but first, so. but first, uh, as she stands back and, or stands to the side and behind, meet my squire. Uh, he, how you say it? Uh, Ellison. Ellison. Meet my squire, Ellison. What, what does your character look like to them? Uh, you see a not muscular or buff sea health, rather a kind of a young looking human, um, maybe late teens, early 20s, you know, on the cusp of manhood, but definitely looks still like a boy. Uh, armor, uh, full armor on him, but again, looking a little too big, like maybe it was bought or crafted for someone who would grow into it or a little bit bigger. Um, he's holding his helmet in his, uh, under his arm, uh, brown hair kind of messy and not kept at all. Uh, he keeps kind of brushing it out of his eyes there. Uh, but just this youthful, uh, cheery look to him that is kind of out of place for the general scenery that we have here. Um, uh, yes, uh, Dame Dracor, yes, uh, I, I'm here at your service. Meet Dame Vera, she'll be accompanying us. You will treat her with the same respect you would treat me. Absolutely. By the I gave a nice, lavish bow to both. What does the, the, the two kinder look like what he sees? Uh, Naylor, Muted. <laughs> How tall are you, Ellison? Uh, five nine. <laughs> Still taller. I am three two. <laughs> oh jeez. I am a tiny little kinder. Um, now um, covered in uh plate armor. Thank you for that. <laughs> I am very noisy when I move now. Um. But uh, you hold see, on, uh, hold on, hold on. We're getting the raid from Silver Wolf Eight. Hello, raiders, welcome in. Okay. I'm gonna get a shout out for Silver Wolf. What was y'all playing? Some Call of Duty, I think, probably. No, she was. I was watching her. She was playing oh. uh some horror game. Oh, I think that's what was she said tonight. Uh, Labyrinth or something like that. No. Back rooms. Hard. Escape the back rooms. Welcome in, Raiders. So uh, this is Goblets and Warlocks. You can catch Silver Wolf on Sundays with uh, Order to Goblet. As I was missing, mentioning early top of the stream, that uh, they'll be probably going to bi weekly uh, when I go to nights here next week. Thank you, guys, Raiders, for coming in. We're just diving in, meeting the new characters. So sorry, Vera, go ahead. No, no, you're you're fine. Um, Garrus, the one I was playing, Bellroom is in. Do you see a tiny, petite little uh, three two Kinder? Long pointy ears, half shaved head. Uh, the the hair used to be uh, light brown. Um, being here in the way so long, it, it's definitely gotten uh, darker by now. Um, but she has uh, painted battle makeup on, um, shield on her back, and a sword at her side. And Mela. Yes, and Mela. Yeah. So you see another three foot two little kinder with pointed ears um, with longer red hair um, and she also seems to have like not necessarily smiling but you can definitely tell that she is someone who smiles quite a lot um, and she is 
uh, got a bag on her belt that she doesn't look very comfortable with yet, and a staff in her hand, um, and that is Mela. And he does, I do a bow to um, the one that Dave Dracor uh, pointed out as a knight as well, and then I make my way to the other kinder, and I go, and you, are you also a, a knight of the order as well? Should I, uh, and I begin to bow. Oh, no, no, towards... no. Uh, no, I'm uh, just a healer. Not not a knight. Oh, a healer? Well, it's also very, very important. And today, I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of people who need your your services and your help. Um, I am, I, I put my life in yours. Uh, nice, nice to meet you, then. Um, thanks. Thank you. So, uh, D- Dame Dracorn, where, where are we off to now? I'm very excited for this, this adventure here to uh, meet all these new, new individuals. Uh, yes, uh, uh, we're still waiting on a couple party members. Uh, you do what they Oh, no, ask. we're not waiting on anyone. We can go now. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, we're not waiting for... Oh, um, no, we're good. We're good. We're totally good. As as you're saying this, uh, <laughs> the two CLs approach. Ah, Mila, Vera, I've missed you in my few moments apart from you. You spawned more. Ah, yes, you must be talking about my new friend Inaris here. Inaris, uh, this is Vera and Mela. Mela and Vera, this is Inaris. Ishvan sent him to... Uh, not as a reward, but to further aid us for all the good work we've been doing. Punishment? It's not a reward, it's a punishment? I'm no punishment. uh, Don't listen to Afira. Um, Nice to meet you. I'm Mela. Now go in and shake his hand. Or try to. I'll, I'll extend my hand. Uh... Yeah, I, I I bend down. I, so mind you, my my character is six foot eight. Um, oh, so I, I, <laughs> look at the fun way. I like lay down and still am as tall as you. Um, <laughs> no, uh, so my character would uh, bend over and and shake shake your hand. Um, and and uh, uh, yeah. Uh, be careful Bye. when those little ones get close to you, Indaris. Sometimes the contents of your pockets go missing. I have no idea what you're talking about. This here is a new member um, as well who will be joining us. This is uh, Ellison. Is that right? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name, uh, Madam Madam Healer. Mela. M- Mela. Nice to meet you, Mela. Uh, and you, uh, Sir Knights, as well? Uh, it, Dame Dracorn, did I, did I insult them? I'm very sorry if I did. Uh, to, to, who are you speaking to? Um, are two strapping and tall, um, individuals. Uh, they are... I'm sorry, I've never met we, a... Um... We, we've been over this. We've worked out the sigils. We've I've tried to train you on emblems of the orders. Uh, obviously, we're Knight of the Rose, and she is Knight of... I forgot, what is it? Knight of the Sword? Sword. Yeah. She's obviously wearing the Knight of the Sword. I, we need to re- work on your training. I have... Apologies, please, please, Dave. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yes. Uh, what is your... Uh, do you remember your studies in religion? Roll me a religion check. Me? Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Minus one. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, two. <laughs> as, you're, as she asks you that, you quickly notice that Mela is... Wearing a her uh, goddess or her deity's symbol, uh, where is it as like a crest or something? Yeah, it's like a necklace. Um, and you want me to describe it? It's a yeah. blue infinity 
sign that is just around like right here on around her neck and you Isn't clearly nice? and clearly uh levna is like testing you right now and you clearly see that you should know that but you have no fucking clue Oh, uh, yes, yes, of course, of course, um, yeah, you know, just the, um, of course she is dedicated to the, um, you know, the, uh, um, the, the lord of, um, um, ever, uh, you know, ever flowing, continued, um, prosperity. You're embarrassing me, you're, you're, you're embarrassing me. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Clearly, I'm... she the, worships the goddess, goddess of Mishical. And as you do know, it's kind of yes. shocking because the gods have been gone for years. Watch we, your we... mouth with heresy, lady. Uh, hey, who was present here? Oh, I, oh I, I'm not. I'm. See if, I'm not talking about heresy. I'm just trying to train the wise choir and symbols of. The goddess here, and he insulted her by calling the Lord or something. So apologize. I, yeah. I, I'm very, very, very sorry, um, Dame Dracorn, for embarrassing you. I will double down on my studies again. Um, Lady Mila, I, I apologies for insulting your god, god, goddess. 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 Yes. 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 Goddess. Apologies. Apologies all around. I'm just gonna I, I'm just gonna step back here and I take a big step back and just kinda try to shrink in the shadows of the tall sea elves that have arrived. Horribly embarrassed. Well, I'll finish packing whoop we'll... and you finish packing your bags? Yes, 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 yes. Is my bag ready? Yes, yes it is. Yes, I, yes. Is it ready? <laughs> her. <laughs> <laughs> is this what a high low? I, <laughs> I clearly don't see it here. Uh, it's just you know it, it's right by the. I'll, I'll I'll go I'll go I'll go fetch it for us. I'll, let me let me let me grab that and I'll I'll I'll, I'll be right back. And I turn, and I definitely trip on my way out, and I run off to go grab the bag. So. Sorry, Hi, Dame what's Vera. In... My apologies. He'll get better when time. I'll go f make sure he doesn't get in any more trouble. She steps we up. all start somewhere. Go ahead, uh, Ray. Sorry. Uh, as he scampers off and stumbles a little, I uh, would make the just a comment to uh, to the other three that um, my it seems like you've found a a spry little one to be joining us here, and not too bad looking either. Saying that to Levna? All three of these here. Well, Vera, Mila, oh, okay. and, and Eris. Okay. Well, I'm sure he'll uh, help us greatly um, as we continue, you know, fighting the dragon armies and whatnot. Um, but does I actually have something for you if you want to just step over for a minute? Oh, why, of course. Nothing bad, I promise. Darn, I was just getting my hopes up. What can Thank I do you. for you, Lady Mila? Well, um, as you can see, and I sort of point to the symbol around my neck, um, I have the symbol of Mishakol that I'm able to sort of draw on, and, and it helps focus my, my powers that she has blessed me with. So until we get you, like, an official one, um, I sort of just um made this this for you and i hand him a little piece of scrap cloth that has the blue infinity symbol so hand sewn on it um i you could attach it to 
uh, I don't know, your bag or um, a glove, maybe, I don't know. Um, just to help you focus until we can get you a, a better one. And, and just remember your, your new calling that you have now as we move forward and, yeah, continue on our paths. Why, well, yes, ma'am. And I take it from you and admire it for a moment and say, um, this is a very special gift. Uh, this doesn't make her appear again, you know, like last time, does it? No, not that I oh, noticed. No. Well, thank you. I shall treasure this and find some way to incorporate it into my, um, my lovely garb here. Thank you greatly. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, you're very welcome. Uh, and I wander back to the group. Gashin, as you hold it in your... I'm just kidding. <laughs> what about everybody else? I was just left awkwardly with this uh, new CEO. Yeah, y'all want to have a little chit-chat while they step to the side? Uh, um, in in Ishvern's crew, were there any kinder? No, no. So, like, I probably but, haven't seen kinder at all. Then, no, you have, just not have, really. Okay. okay, so so it would be a new experience for for Anaris to be around kinder, especially two of them. Yes. Okay. You probably not so long checking your pockets or whatever to make sure. Especially after what, yeah. Especially after what Daz said, I, I would definitely be like, kind of like, keeping an eye on my pockets. But you're not. You guys are not talking with each other. No, mm. just glaring. No, just I, I would just be. I would be like watching, like wondering what's what's going to happen. Kind of like with my hands in my pockets, like making sure nothing's going missing. I'm just making note that Das complimented Alison, but didn't say anything about an eye. So apparently, uh, CLs are not what he digs. Why is uh, Dashin and Mela return to you? <sighs> So, Vera, are you going to kill one of them now or later? I don't know. Are they going to try to steal from us or, you know, conjure up one of our friends' faces and pretend to be them? And ours, are you uh, skilled in the art of altering your appearance? No, I can't say that I am. I do not know magic very well. Well, certainly you didn't just decide to... Well, never mind. I don't want to go that route. (laughs) 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 Then to be determined if I want to kill him or not. You say that right in front of him? Yep. Feisty for something so small. I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, Inaris, give me a religion check. Eight. You notice that she worships a god as well, or goddess. You're not sure. With that eight, you know she worships something. Or someone. This is this is Vera that I noticed yes. this yeah. about? Okay. And I, I heard the whole conversation with, with Mila and it's, it's or, was I was I there? Yes. Yeah. You were there. Okay. Okay. Just making sure that we had already come back. I, I couldn't remember. I forget things quick. Sorry. 
And my um, armor will have two emblems on it. One of them is for the Knights of the Sword. The other one is the emblem of, of my goddess. Which okay, and I, I heard about the Knights of the Sword thing because I was here for that conversation. Yeah. So. Um, uh, I, I guess... Uh, so, uh, what is this symbol for? And I, I point to the symbol, not the Knights of the Sword one, but the other one on Vera's armor. If it's something you should know, I'll tell you. Very fiery. Don't be too discouraged. She's this friendly with everyone. Would anyone like some bacon from the bag of holding? And I kind of lift it up. Remember, you mm. can only hear Ryder Rue talk. Nobody else. Mm -hmm. Somebody say bacon! Ryder Rue! And almost like a machine gun. <laughs> to everybody. Close. <laughs> I close the bag quickly. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm still trying to control. I'm learning how to use um, the bag of folding. I apologize if you don't like bacon. Um, and I'll put it back. So you have bacon machine gun, eh? <laughs> well, it's a machine gun. Oh, yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> bacon automatic crossbow. <laughs> I, I guess so. <laughs> well, I'll take some. Anything's better than those drab, tasteless beads of nourishment that everyone so constantly hands me to eat. So he'll happily grab for some bacon. If you caught a fish, you could eat that. I believe I have supplied many a fish for many a meal around these parts. I'm entitled to have some of the spoils of our previous captures as well. So long as you don't think we poisoned it. <laughs> After like one bite in, he's, he's he <laughs> thinks that it could have been poisoned because he <laughs> just said that. He's a little worried, stops for a second, but then proceeds to eat as you just told him it wasn't. So are we waiting on Clystron or Kenna, whichever one's leading us forward? You're muted again. Clystron. Uh, I, I, I got in the habit of muting because I had to turn my sensitivity on this mic up way up. And so if I type, you can definitely hear it. So I'm just trying to make sure I mute myself if I typed. And I keep forgetting. Because it's a new. Uh, Hystrain is who is going to be leading you to Heart's Hollow. <clears throat> uh, about this time, Echelon and Levna come back. Waiting on the guide. <clears throat> about that time, You'll be on Clystring lots of with his little back. <clears throat> Let's see. What did I do for his voice? Ah, <laughs> uh, y'all ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. All right. This way to Hot Hollow. Let's go. And he starts leading y'all away. Uh, so, if I remember correctly, y'all were, like, on a plateau south of Hearts Hollow, so we'll say it's probably, like, three or four hours trek towards Hearts Hollow, so, um, and you'll probably do it about half that amount of time with the blessings, and Clystrin gives you all a little buff of getting there, too. Is the, um, terrain... Uh, still kind of desert like or are we kind it of is. okay it is eventually you reach another big plateau 
um, and you reach the entrance of Heart's Hollow. What do we see as we get to the entrance? Well, uh, let me. I have pulled up the map for you as for Hot Harlow. Uh, do you guys want to have a conversation on your little trip as you're hiking there? Please have a conversation I do have some while I... I would. Yeah, go ahead. Please do while I look what I need to look at. <laughs> <laughs> Did I talk over someone a second ago? Uh, okay. I don't think so. Well, then um, I have a. <clears throat> As we're traveling uh, at some point in the morning, I'm going to um, uh, kind of be probing Anaris with some questions. And I'm going to say, uh, so, Anaris, have you, uh, how long have you been working with Ishvan? It has been a little while. Um, I ran into Ishvan while I was uh, on the seas and... Um, he and I found that uh, working together was mutually beneficial. Ah, yes. See, I am more of a fan of working apart when it comes to Ishvan. Not that I don't enjoy the man's company, but I've been more of a solitary man myself for the last uh, 20 or so years. But recently I've come across this, uh, this group and have risen to do things that I thought were beyond my reach. So if those are the type of things you are looking for as you join our fearless few, I think that you shall find it. We seem to be quite capable with overcoming obstacles and pushing past our limits for new heights. I will enjoy that if, if you can show me that you are worthy of my loyalty. I will be very loyal to you, and you will not have to fear in a fight. Well, that might be tricky in some cases, but I am excited about what the future's prospects hold nonetheless. That being said, I have a question for you, Inaris. Um, are you familiar with a sea elf named Shale, Shale Yenveri? Um, I, um, I doubt it. It's completely up to you. It's, I kind let's of let the dice. Let, let's do the okay, dice. Okay, we can let the dice. History, history check yes, or history. History, okay. Hey, <laughs> not 20. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll, so I'll let, that mean, uh, I mean, probably uh, yeah. rain. I'll let you decide how much you, you would know okay. for that. Um, so the name, I, I would then with a, with a 20, I would say that the most likeliest output is you've definitely heard the name Yenveri shale, maybe not so much, but it doesn't sound completely unfamiliar. Um, but you would know that of the Yenveri family, there's someone who's regarded more popular or more well-known than shale, but you've heard the name shale. Kind of like, uh, I'm trying to think of a current artist situation, like Simon and Garfunkel, I guess. Like, this would be the Garfunkel to the Simon. Um, lesser known, but also relevant in the sea elf entertainment community. Okay. Um, although he has uh, been missing when his his brother passed away, he has been, he has been missing ever since. <clears throat> Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so so uh, I I recall the name a little bit. It is not something I have thought about a whole lot in a while. Well, if it so happens that you come across some other sea elves or. Uh, ever hear the name Shale be used, or particularly see a nice golden loot? You be sure and let me know. I can do that for you. 
I will uh, reach up to slap him in the middle of the back because uh, I'm definitely not 6'8". I'm more in the like 5'8 category. But uh, so he'll he'll slap him in the middle of his back and uh, I suppose um, when is the last time you've heard a good sea elf shanty? As he draws up his loot. Um, it has it has been a little while. Uh, Ishvern, we do not have a lot of music with Ishvern. Ah, yes, that old stick in the mud. Well, that is a th- worry of the past for you. Now that you are traveling with me, I love to be of entertaining value, and uh, I'll just start to to strum some tunes. Nothing, nothing grand, but uh, but not quiet either. Uh, you don't have a song prepared. Mm-mm. I can re sing <laughs> the one that I did the last session. Why not? You was stuck there in for his it. head. So ah, yeah. We are. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I started singing without doing my catchphrase. Oh, yeah. yeah. We are the fearless few, a pint of ale to see what we do. We fell giant worms and we free the weak. When danger rears, you know who to seek. We stand like beacons in night, guiding lost souls to Michigan's light. I don't remember the rest of the words, but something like this, and it sounded good. <laughs> but uh, he would proceed to kind of play that melody kind of on repeat um, until told to stop, I suppose, for this trip. Uh, Dash, and as you are playing, as you end the last song, uh, you hear behind you, uh, Kenna has actually tied the lawn. She's like, I can't, I can't. And it's got you off about. Then I would begin to play a second time with a tad more bravado and and continue with You're it. You're so good. You're so good. Yeah. Well, yes, thank you. It's always nice to be traveling with fans. I'd be happy to do this anytime. Seeds again. Uh, you might also like having any other conversations. I believe with how loud we're being, I will be on watch. I guess, uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> I guess, uh, we have, we have arrived. Uh, this is, uh, hot hollow. As you reach, uh, start going down, you can see it's a massive, like, crater, like a black, or like, imagine like a volcano, but not actual volcano, like going deep into the earth. And as it circles around on the slopes, uh, as you start entering there, uh, I guess this is hot hollow. Uh, the first location that we're going to reach is, uh, as he enters town, uh, he sees, like, you, you see this old kind of like a, almost kind of like a grumpy like type dwarf um hill dwarf uh, glastron we have not seen you for a while ah uh, uh, yes uh guys this is a uh, uh granite um he runs the odds and ends right here to the left he sells all kinds of common items that we find in the west who, who's your friends? Uh, yes, uh, yes. I have to talk to my damn self. Oh. Welcome, everybody. Be kind to introduce yourselves. Well, hello there, my squatly little friend. My name is Dashton Yenvery. Perhaps you've heard of me, but in case you have not, I am Dashton. You may call me Daz. And we are the fearless few heading here to... Escort a few members. You seem to be a purveyor of goods of sorts. I guess I shouldn't ask that part yet. We're doing introductions. (laughs) (sighs) An elf. Two of them. It's fine. She allows all comers here to escape the West. I will be on my best behavior. What is your other elf's friend's name? I am Inaris. Um, 
It is uh, interesting to meet you. Interesting indeed. How long is this guy's beard? <laughs> pretty, pretty long. Down uh, like. Okay. More standard for a dwarf. Yeah, you can than Belrums was. Yeah, yeah, more standard. Uh, brownish, and he's definitely got some grays in it. Sorry, uh, Granite. Who is she exactly? Uh, we just call her Ness. Basically, she's the mayor of here, Hot Hollow. Uh, yes, I got to tell her. I saw a dragon, a big black one. It was amazing. Yes. You all tell and tell us again. Uh, question. No, 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 we did. Did we see it, guys? Did we see it? I definitely saw and felt its breath. See, I'm not lying. It was huge. Ken is all like, yeah, yeah, he's not lying. He's not lying. And she, look. And she scurries off until to the people she sees and that gets her out of here. <laughs> um, I'm checking my pockets. Harla? Hi. Oh, what is your in what's in your inventory that is now missing? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even remember what's in my inventory. That's probably bad. Uh, let's see your inventory. You're now. Um, you don't really have much in your inventory. That's kind of yeah. I never get much. All right. Uh, we haven't really been, you know, looting. And when we do, it's in the bag of holding. Oh, by the way, you got your boots. Or actually, that's how you get them back. You find in your bag. Your boots of speed that was not there. But your bedroll's gone for some reason. It's okay. You can sleep with me if you need to. Not my type. <laughs> How did you know what was missing from my inventory? Oh, I took it. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, probably was like my bedroll. I mean, I feel like bedrolls are large enough that uh, we might all notice that your bedroll was missing <laughs> off of your back. Yeah, large enough for a kid for a kid or two. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, uh, Vera, you actually think it could be Kenner, or it could have been. What is her name? Jesus. Mary or even Kiri at this point. Kiri, Kiri, there we go. Jesus. Because they're both kinder, so you're wondering if it, who took well, what. Well, if she returned my boots that she had and took my bedroll at the same time, that would make sense. Mela, you have two bedrolls. I do. <laughs> I just found this one in the bag of holding. <laughs> you can have it. I feel like you were trying to say something by taking that. But, what? <laughs> no? Here you go. I'll give her back the bedroll. Hmm. I will sigh and accept it. Hmm. 
And uh, Vera, you also find in your bag. Uh, somehow. Somehow you uh, picked up a. Uh, you hold up for some reason. You pulled out some basic fishing equipment. You're not sure how you got it. Hmm. Probably was trying to show Dad how to do it the right way. I'm just going to pocket that. All right, well, Mela, take the fishing equipment out of your bag. <laughs> All right, now we're done doing kinder stuff. <laughs> um, What did you say this dwarf's name was? His Granite. name is... Granite, Granite. Granite. that's right. <laughs> Grandit. Grandit? Oh, Grandit. There's a D. There's a there's an added D I did not read. Well, my likely illiterate friend, Mr. Grandit, do you have any um, goods in which we might be able to purchase or sell? Uh, any bartering deals? It's still early in the morning. I haven't quite opened up. I uh, and have fun with your friends. Uh, it starts wandering back to his house. You can roll me insight check if you like. I suppose you won't think much of it, aside from... Did he say early in the morning? We've been walking four hours, just like a dwarf to be so lazy, I suppose. Pretty sure that's what he thought, and why he turned around. By the way, normally it would take you like four hours. It only took you like an hour. Oh. It's all the booms, <clears throat> and slice from the uh, way he moves. Also, it cuts it in half, so it only took you like... A an hour because the boon is half and then that's half so they have like an hour all right to the guys right up ahead is the mosaic uh it's a spiraling through hearts hollow um it's a slope pathway lined with colorful stones all throughout if you guys now since y'all first time visitors it's customary to place a stone within the brick road. Over there, there's some reds, there's some blues, there's some yellows. Be, be obliged to insert your old little rock here for being a visitor first time. Oh, oh, fun, fun. And I, yes, uh, yes, yes. I start walking by, I look over at uh, Dave, the Dragon World First Four. I take too many steps. She gives you the nod. Hey. She leans over and grabs a yellow one and drops her where she is and puts her foot down in it and Yes. <laughs> did did I see her do that? Ah. Was that it's pretty odd. Okay. And I then will think that's the thing to do, so I will dig out a yellow one and do the exact same thing. I'll drop it and try to copy her exactly. We've been over this. You don't have to. Never mind. <laughs> Daz will take a stone as well, um, a blue one. <clears throat> and uh, after he picks it up, I'm going to expend one of my spell slots to cast um, distort value on it. Uh, what this allows ah. me to do is uh, make it all the imperfections kind of disappear and make it look shinier and a little brighter. Then, uh, then it normally Oh, you would. got you. Good one, Mr. Yenvoy. Yes, that's a good one. <clears throat> that's a very good one. Ah, yes, indeed. I do know how to pick them. Um, I, I would like to, uh, grab a stone and, and after Das casts distort value it's on fun. his, I want to try and swap it's his out for, for a different one. 
<laughs> and take his. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, Jazzy Sats ninety eight. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. In. That is uh, Jazzy Sax is actually one of my friends. Nice. Welcome so, in. I invited a few people to come in. Sweet. Thank you for being here. You're actually a follower six hundred and thirty. Congratulations, Jazzy Sats. Uh, as you said, I'm sorry. You, as you so, I wanted I wanted to try and swap out the stone that Das casted distort value on a with a, with another one and take his. Okay, I would so, say that Daz was probably holding it out, talking to someone who was <laughs> saying that it was such a good stone to have picked, and he's embellishing on how it takes a keen eye to know what type of stone you want to pick. I mean, after all, this is going to be here forever, so he's not really paying attention to the stone itself. So roll a slide of hand check. Gets everybody's passes. 24. Let me check Kleistrin's, because I rolled a natural 20 for Kleistrin. Wisdom, right, for a pet. Even with his uh, wisdom. I mean, it would be perception, so yeah, wisdom. Yeah, yeah. So even with his natural 20, he only got a 21. So as he's, like, focusing on it and, um, like, oh, that's a good one. And Dashin says something, and he draws his attention. In that split second, you were able to swipe it. I doing Tretsosaurus. Welcome in. All right, Vera Mela, are you grabbing one? All right, uh, wait, did you put one down in Neris? Um, I took the one that Das had casted distort value on, and I'm I'm putting that one down. But okay. I put I, I I like etch an E into it, so it, it's obviously mine. Got it. And then Dash, and you look back. It's weird. <laughs> <clears throat> this looked a little shinier before. Um, yeah, what, what'd you do? That's a neat little a, trick. Seeing Aeneas put his into the ground over there. and oh, Maybe he picked a better one than I did. Well, uh, anyways. and Put it down in the, in the floor or whatever it is, the pavement. Pavement, yep. Vera and Mela, you do the same or... I'm remembering the last time I did something with a rock and it was given to someone to help him in a moment of uh, fear and later he just threw it on the ground. So that would be Balram. If you guys are remembering. I don't remember when that one was but it yeah, we were trying water. to get him to Remember walk. He was afraid um, to cross water at all yeah, times. Water. Yeah. It yeah. worked, but he, he kind of insulted me by throwing it on the ground later. Um, so I will walk up to where they were putting their stones down, uh, bend down, uh, offer a prayer instead, and reach my hand forward. And over top, Mr. Anaris's E, I'm casting Mending to fix the rock back to normal. No more engravings. It wasn't like an engraving. I just kind of scratched it in with my finger now. Well, that's probably all I'd be able to mend anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I so you grab, grab another one and put it down and mend the other one? Oh, I, I didn't grab any of them. I just bent and uh, knelt um, and... Used a, a prayer to uh, pray out to uh, mend the rock that he messed up. Now, Fia, it, it's customary to put your own rock in. That's looked amazing how you did that. That was crazy. But it's, it's customary to put your own rock in. Well, we're not actually putting any rocks in. We're picking up a rock that was already here and then. No, that's a pile of rocks over there with your, your elfin friends picked out. Yeah. There's pile, there are piles of rocks. Yep, that's what I mean. It's it's 
has no significance to me because it wasn't mine. It was just a rock sitting over there and we're moving it from over there to over there. It must be a dwarf thing. Um, but this is my custom. And, and <laughs> I will get back up from where I know. That's what we do. Mela. As he's like I, starting, he's trying to hold back tears. I will grab a rock and very like eye contact with him, put it on the ground and gently push it with my fingers into the ground. Here we go. Nice and safe now. Won't be moving there. It's not going anywhere. You okay there? Okay. As you okay. wind on down, uh, I'm sure you want to meet Ness. She is the mayor and runner of this whole establishment. She's probably down by the Salt Lake. Come on, follow Why me. Not? And she, he gives like a quick look, side eye to Vera, and as like a little tear right here, he's trying to hold back. The salt lick. Do you think this is like a, you know, what you give to livestock so that they, is that what they mean? Just a couple blocks sitting outside for the dwarfs to lick on? I'm just making vain I, conversation. I'm not accustomed to uh, that. I don't uh, believe we uh, ever saw Bellroom do that either. No. Are you saying that dwarves are like livestock? I mean, about as intelligent as livestock, I suppose, but um, here we are seeming to be honoring their traditions by, as Vera said, moving one rock from one place to another, and that makes them happy, so potentially, yes. Does that mean we will have to lick the salt too? No, oh, I sure hope not. I don't want to do that. I I tap me on the shoulder and I go, it, is there a history between elves and dwarves that I don't know about? Was this something I was supposed to study as well? Do you ask Vera or? Ask Mila that. Oh, Mila, got it. Um, yes, they have a history, and I don't know if you needed to study that. I um, um, I don't know. Um, I don't know what your criteria is to become a knight. But yes, it's very long, dark history from what I've gathered. Okay, I I will I will try to study up some more on this, maybe uh, subtly, of course. Um, thank you, thank you. Sounds good. Anytime. Now, uh, Hot Hollow's greatest defense is its secrecy. As we move on down the mosaic, uh, over here is the fort. We mostly use it for storage and stuff like that, but it has some weapons if we need to fight. And as you wind on the round, the salt lick it will be up on your left as he points out. It's suspended over the hole in the ground by, uh, I just really just read it. Suspended over an open area by a web of sturdy uh, cord, cords. Uh, yes, uh, this is the salt lick. Let me pull up a tavern music. As he gestures towards the salt lick. Please, go ahead. Oh, thank God, it's a bar. I've been waiting for one of these. Is there a um, reason why the bar is hanging in midair? It's quite so... F we don't have much room here. Yeah, don't complain, this is a good thing. Now when you have to take a piss, you just step outside and piss right off the edge. 
I don't think might that be a little harder for you. I don't find this safe at all. We've had trouble lately with uh, people falling. So, um, how safe is this, Clystron? Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh, it's it's extremely safe. Ness would be happy to see you, and Z darts inside. So we're we're going Questions to eagerly going into the suspended um, tavern here, or to meet someone for what 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 is happening? We rescued some other people. We were returning them back. Um, Trying to get the download more of the waste while we're trying to wait. Do you have the same mission as us? Me? Oh, I'm uh, I'm I'm just here to uh, serve and follow my uh, my Dame Drakehorn. So wherever she goes, I go. Wherever she tells me to go, I will go. And I am to follow and serve you as well, um, Dame Vera. Yes, uh, what has been explained to us is that Lord Soth was part of the Rose, and we mean to bring honor back to the Rose. We're looking for the City of Lost Names. While we are here giving these people back we can try and find more information about this um i still don't like going into a bar suspended over air i don't know why dwarves would like that either i'm going to ready myself for if i need to cast featherfall and <laughs> very hesitantly go into this bar Get some sounds up for it. Everybody else? <clears throat> yeah, I, I followed in um, the one who escorted us down there. Like, eager to get inside. Less concerned of the dangers that potentially are there. I sit close with Vera, so I just go with her. I follow uh, Levna if she goes in as well. She will. I'm just trying to find. This is what I want. There we go. Go with that one. As you enter the tavern, as it's got a lot of people there. It's lots of, like lined up. Um, the barkeep behind. Let's see. It doesn't really give me much about the what's who is all in here. So I guess I just. Uh, the people are lively in Hot Harlow, mainly humans, hills, dwarves, and kinder. Most uh, feel we're giving a second lease on life when they were rescued by the Wastes and found their way here. Um, uh, Kleistron is... I'll say this, Kleistron was talking about this on the way to Hearts Hollow. Um, and uh, as y'all walking, in... Yeah, uh, you want to go to the mayor's office, which is over in the corner as Ness is uh, back there sitting at a table. I'm gonna go get a drink. 
he, he jumps like on one of the little stools at the bar. I am walking very stiffly. I don't like it in here. As Dashin enters the, the tavern, he'll uh, open the door with great bravado and say, um, Greetings, patrons of the bar. We are here. The saviors of Camp Carrion Clay, the fearless few, none uh, no less famous than we were yesterday, here to relish in your good times. That was a wonderful introduction, Das. Yes, yes, thank you. This is my very large friend, Inaris. I'm sure that he is uh, quite a towering sight for all of you, but I assure you, uh, well, I think he means you no harm, but I'm pretty sure he means you no harm. Yes, nobody be alarmed by his size. Uh, do you do you drink, sir? Talking to Inaris. Uh, only on uh, days that uh, are meant for drinking. Can, can this bar uh, accommodate his height, by the way? Is he having a hunch? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, his humans, heel drawers, uh, and kinder are the main, main races in Hearts Hollow. Yeah, which means that I'm like at least a foot taller than all of them. It's it's kind of like a dome on a like it's got high rafters, so you're you're fine. Okay, okay. You, you might have to nail down to get through the door, but you know, you you'll you'll get in there a little bit fine. Everybody starts stares and looks at you though. I do not like all of this attention on me. Dashin, what is? Uh, give me a perception check. Nineteen. Yes. Uh, as you're asking Inaris uh, if he drinks or whatever, you, at the left, as you turn over to look, you can see over by like the fireplace um, that is not lit currently right now uh, is a little gnome playing his fiddle. Uh, then I shall uh, approach the bar, order five. Five ales. Wouldn't, wouldn't you want six? Because there's the, the one that Ellison came with. Yeah, Levda. Yeah, that oh, one. yeah, that's right. By the way, uh, for the new players, Levna has full play armor, and then she has like a scar that has stitching on the side of her cheek. I think it's the right cheek, actually. Well, then I would like to purchase a round of drinks and then after offering them to everyone in our party, I don't know who takes them and who doesn't, but uh, whomever doesn't, I suppose Daz will happily keep the remainders and um, then go to approach the gnome. Uh, thank you, Dashin. Uh, it's mighty lovely of you. Uh, she starts drinking. Well, yes, charm is one of my best qualities. I do hope you enjoy that. It, it looks like it is of decent quality, so I look forward to it myself. Um, Ellison, sure. uh, I guess as I'm about to hand Ellison one, I would say, um, are you of age to partake? I'm just uh, kidding. I don't care. Here you are, son. Oh, oh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Des. Uh, Have you ever had one before? Esselin, drink the ale. Ah. Ah, oh, yeah, it's good. <coughs> Thank you, Dash. Yeah, she kinda... just tastes like a... <sighs> Dash, and, uh, he'll, he'll get the acquaintance for it. By the way, that's a lovely shade of skin I'm just now noticing on you. 
Oh, why, thank you. I'm <laughs> flattered, I suppose. Yes. Uh, as you, as she takes off her helmet, her hair comes undone, and it's almost the same golden lots like you have. Ooh. So, uh, we have the same hair color. Uh, maybe that's what it is. But I see you eyeing the the fiddler gnome. Go have fun. Without giving too much uh, extended thought, uh, he he would move over and try to join in, also kind of looking for approval from the gnome as he's trying to match the tune and the melody of and accompany his performance. Ah, we have not seen any uh, 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 sea elves in quite some time. Uh, how about you? No. Bob Habanuka, at your service. Bob Habanuka? Bob Habanuka. That is my name. We, my family, generations of great purveyors of music, you'll come to join. Why, yes, I too come from a, a family whose lineage is well-versed in the musical arts. I would be honored to play against a fellow thespian. Or play with the fellow Thesbian. Nah, yeah, play, play with. I will wipe you under the floor. All right, so let's, you know this tune? And he just continues on playing. You want to try to catch the tune? Give me a performance check. Ah, yes, I'm familiar with that one. I believe uh, it goes like this. Yeah, and you start playing in harmony. What is everybody else doing while he's dashing his order playing, entertaining everybody? Um, Inaris would be kind of in a corner trying to not draw attention to himself after having everyone kind of stare at me because of my abnormal height in the area. I'm slowly sipping my, my ale. Uh, Levin is pretty tall herself, but not quite as tall as you. The way to people get used to the height. I I'm not worried about. And I, I'm not worried about my height. I just um, do not like all of the attention. As you can see, at the same time as uh, Dashton starts playing, everybody starts focusing on the music. Um, Daenerys visibly like uh, loses some tension like he was he was pretty tense with everybody looking at him earlier yeah. and uh, when when people kind of pay, focus on the music more uh, he kind of like loosens up a little bit <laughs> All right. what is come on stupid thing um, what is our two little kinder doing? And I guess Ellison is still trying to, uh, drink his ale. Yes, I'm struggling with it. You're a lightweight, right? Yep. Give me a constitution saving throw. Oh, yeah, let's go. Fifteen. You're struggling with it, so you're taking a little small sip, sip, so it's not hitting you yet. All right. All right. What about our two little kinder? I definitely took the drink he gave me. Um, and I would like to head over to this mayor. Mayor, you going? Yeah, I'll go with her. As you approach, you see a middle-aged um, woman. Uh, it doesn't really give up much of a description. Come on now. Uh, so it's like 
she has like a dirty blonde, but if certain lights you can see a little bit of like hint of bronze throughout the hair. It strikes you kind of like a that kind of type of color as it kind of shimmers off. You might think she might have a little bit of glitter in there or something like that. Um, she is sitting there. Um, she just kind of ushered somebody off as she sees you approach. Ah, to find Kinda approach. I may have be a service to you. I haven't seen you in these here parts in quite some time. At oh, I'm sorry. At all. Hi. Uh, this probably would go easier if we had Kinda or Lystran with us. Uh, we just uh escorted two of your inhabitants. Residents? I actually don't know if they both live here or not. I just know they were from here. Uh, we just escorted them back. Ah, well, but who do tell? They seem to have gotten mixed up with the dragon army. Are you uh, guys having any trouble with that here? Questions seem to say this place was secret, but I don't know how secret a giant hole in the ground is. Once you hear, nobody talks about it here. Um, we strive to keep it secret. Uh, that's our biggest goal. Dragon army, you say? Yes, sir. They stay out of our way. We stay out of their way. And who was these two that you brought back? And she kind of Kenna. looks up. Uh, Kenna, you say? She's been missing for quite some time. Uh, reports say she was taken by the dragon. Did you save them? We did. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I think I see Kleistrin over there. Uh, did he come back with you? He did. He showed us the way. He, he's so obsessed with dragon types, so it's a wonder he's got, gotten himself killed. So, with that being said, I give you free rooms for tonight. Why would you think he'd get himself killed if he was obsessed with dragons? There's dragons a... haven't been seen in ages. There's a rooster dragon nets. Mm. As we do know, that's not like a true dragon, but there's a rooster dragon as he keeps wandering over there. Yeah, he probably should uh, have an escort with him. He couldn't really handle spiders. What do you mean dragons have not been seen in ages? Is that the tales that goes of end? Because reports I mean, tell me there was a black happens. dragon flying not too far from here. Yes, it attacked the uh, the camp we helped uh, Kenneth from. I just didn't know if you guys had seen any dragons all the way down here. I am looking for a bronze dragon egg. Have you seen any? Why would you be looking for a dragon egg? I'm very interested in the dragon egg. For safekeeping. As you do know, as you have stated, dragons have not been around forever. I have the means to protect the egg. Do you have it? Can I roll an insight check? Yeah, of course. I told you to roll one earlier, but I guess you didn't hear me. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not good at insight anyway, so this isn't going to work well. Seems, uh, yeah, definitely not going to work well. No. Um, no. Don't really get. Maybe. She's hard to read. She's hard to real read. Um, I'll give you with an insight. You probably just kind of gather that she's well connected. 
mayor in the middle of nowhere in the waste. They just called me the mayor. This is my hot hello that I keep everybody safe. You said you haven't had many run-ins with the dragon army? No. They do not know. They know not to mess with Ness. Um, I don't know why you would be after a dragon egg or even know about one. Do you have it or not? I very much would like to have it, because I know it's existence. I'd like to do an inside check on her, if that's all right, while I'm listening to the conversation. Okay. You get an inside check. You get in it. Don't forget, you have inspirations, too, by the way. <laughs> it Don't would help about me. You also have I determination. Like normally, and with a plus one, doesn't do shit. 19. 19. Uh, what are you trying to insight? Um, just, um, like how sh how interested she seems in this dragon egg. Like, is it actually as you, safe? As you or? have been sitting here, her interest peaked as soon as the mention of dragons ever came up. So, she is very interested, and she is very keen on getting this egg that she's been looking for. And just and for some over-the-table catch-up for the two and a reminder for the other for the rest oh, of us. I we, remember. Okay, I was about to say, we, we had one for like 90 seconds before the Black Dragon attacked and took it back. Mm-hmm. Yep, Black Dragon picked holding. it up and flied away. Well, hey. he punted our baby dragon first, and then he, <laughs> and then he yeah. got. Yes. We we don't have the egg, no, but we've seen it. Seen it where? With the with the dragon army. Well, can you get it? Can you retrieve it? I will pay good money. And I will keep it safe here. You know what happens with two dragonets that's in the hands of the dragon army, don't you? They come corrupt. We're looking for something. Maybe we can do each other a favor. Well, what's that? Have you heard of the City of Lost Names? But of course, what would you like to know? It's been lost, of course. We need the location. It said that it was buried. The city is lost forever. So I do not know where, why you're looking for something that is completely lost. assume it's lost. It's kind of in the name. Um, we need to find it. So. Uh, but also above could... table, because it's been a while, Dalimar said that you'd meet him at a certain location, and uh, he will find the location for you. I, I also don't like Dalimar, if you remember. You don't like anybody introduce. <laughs> I don't like elves. If you remember, I have a problem with elves. I know, but like, seems like everybody I introduce, you don't like. So that's because they've all been elves and they've all been snooty. I like left now. What? Well, uh... I'm not sure what this egg is, but uh, I'll pay good money if uh, you find it. And I'll see what resources I can help with. I'm sure if you can help us point us in the way of the city, we can see what we can do about that egg. How about this? Until then, head over to 
Lathen, uh, lavenders. He might have spell components, alchemist supplies, potions. I send my word to give you a discount. The mayor's discount. All right. But for now, enjoy the free stay at the Salt Lake. Yeah. Enjoy Hot Hollows and then all its wonder. Can I ask why you call it the Salt Lake? He doesn't say that, so... It gives me no context on the title. I lean over to the I, I have, That's a really good question. I, I have an idea for why it might be called the Salt Lake. Sure. Oh, let's... I'm scared. So, so a bunch of animals hang around the Salt Lake to, to lick it, right? So it's just like a hangout spot. That's probably what it is, actually. A bunch let's of dwarves go there to hang out and oh, you know, I know, have a drink. That that that's I like that. So also. So it's the only tavern that we have here, so this is the only place you can come to get a nice mug of ale or anything like that. So this is our only local hangout, so that's why we call it the Sothic. Hmm. All right. If you excuse us. Thanks. Of course. <laughs> So then, no, when right. when they went to to speak with the mayor, they they yeah. left uh, Das yeah. and I yeah. and Ellison behind. Yeah, I was okay. going to cut to you guys. What are y'all doing in, in, while they're talking? She followed. Yeah. Um. You're still at the bar with Levna. She's just yeah. downing um so Anaris is like still slowly sipping the the one drink that das bought him mm -hmm. um and um my, my god just drink it why are you sipping kind of kind of looking around casing people trying to figure out who might be the most wealthy in the the in the salt lick but give not a, not acting on anything give me a perception check and you do have determination uh, if you would like to add that as well. And I just gave you the, whatever rewards uh, carry add. Perception's 12. Uh, that really, they all about seem the same. The Most people that had more probably, what, what was you looking for? Like more wealthy, whatever? Yeah. Um, and also, like the, the more, you know, has more wealth, but also more drunk. Like that, you know, that fine line of like they're drunk enough that I could steal from them easily, but they're oh. also they, there's go, it's going to be worth stealing. You know, well, probably worth stealing is the people you came in with, because <laughs> 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 you was just kind of explained on the way in like the these people what food they get they get from the waste, like okay. traveling through the waste. So it's nothing like it's not like a yeah. massive place, you know. Yeah, I don't know. It, more, more, just kind of casing it to see. Yeah. Not, not really doing anything, acting on anything. Just, you know, you're casing. Like I said, the the better equipment and stuff is what the party you came in with has. These are more like yeah. commoners, like running the mill. Only person you might see that would looks more wealthy would be Ness in the back corner where you see your two kinder friends talking okay. to. No, of course, uh, the the gnome playing with Dash and has a fairly relatively nice fiddle. Um, so Anaris goes back to the conversation he had with Das about the uh, gold loot. Does it does it glint of gold at all? The the fiddle. Uh, Dash is still playing with the gnome. Yeah, I know, no. but does does the does the he's asking does, if does if the fiddle glint of gold at all? Bob's fiddle to be. Yeah. Possibly the instrument I was referring to. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. I think Dash would have noticed it right away. 
And then uh, as you're sipping on your ale, Levna's like, just be a man and drink it. You're tall I do not. I do not like to uh, dull my senses in a new place. Hmm. Interesting. We'll get it along just fine. Have another L, please. We've been traveling. We've been fighting. We just killed a worm. We earn this relaxation. Insulin! Did you fucking drink that yet? Is it Ellison? Ellison, yeah. Ellison. Ellison, did you fucking drink that yet? I... Still working on it. As, oh, as you're doing oh, it, she, as you're doing it, she does the whole thing at the bottom and makes you tips it up to your mouth to make you drink it. It definitely spills out the side of my mouth oh. as I cough on it, just like <laughs> kind of. Does that not of what for you to do? Come on, give me a con save with disadvantage. Oh, with disadvantage, because <laughs> <laughs> you are not prepared for it. Oh no, thirteen. Thirteen. After just that, you're starting to feel the the tingling of it coming in. Ooh. Uh, have, have another. Have another. 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 Uh, okay. I'll go. I'll go get it. And I stumble over to try to get a couple more. And I actually, I uh, does someone else want another? You? You? Uh, it, in our, in ours? Um, Anaris, uh, does the little thing, you know, like in, in movies and TV shows where they make it look like they chug it, but they really like dump it out behind them, tries to do that and like <laughs> say, yeah, sure. I'll have another. Uh, okay. okay. Three, three more ales. Uh, slide a hand check. <laughs> 18. I mean, my passive perception is only fifteen, so. Yeah. I mean, I'll gladly, I'll gladly, like, dump it onto Levna. <laughs> I'm trying to see if Levna sees it. I mean, with how uh, it seemed like she had, Levna had had a few, right? I think she just downed her first one, just. Like well, she she had asked for another one when she was talking with me. Mm. I'm just trying to see what her plus is right now. Give me a second. I have to go to the encounter that I had made because that's where I can easily assess her stat block. Perception. That was a plus three. And you got an 18? Yes. Meets it, beats it. So that, that, that's uh, that's mighty rude. You spilt your drink on purpose, I might add. Uh, are you gonna clean that up? Um, Anaris, Anaris looks back. Yes. How can you say something was on purpose when you do not know the purpose of it? But that's just and a waste of a good drink. Walks away. Uh, I, I'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's uh, go hang out with the other sea elf because she is much more charming than this one. And they head over to Dashin, who is still playing. And they all finish up your number. <laughs> hey, that, that, that was really good. That's really good. That, 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 uh, I'm going to finish this number because I'm getting paid to do this, and I don't believe you are, so. Ah, well, it is a shame when they choose to pay the less talented, but carry on with your <laughs> endeavors. How rude! We were having a bond and fun. You know what? You finish the number. He storms out. Um, well, uh, 
Good evening, everyone, of the famous Salt Lick Tavern. I am uh, Dastion, and I will be taking over your entertainment for tonight. But uh, you damn first, right you are. First, I believe my my understudy might be able to come assist me with this next one. Um, Vera, are you here still? I'll strum at once to, as if he knows what he's doing. I'm going to duck down. <laughs> hey, it's right over there. Vera, get, get on up here. Your lovely singing is wonderful. I think he wanted me to play the flute. Well, while my understudy gathers her courage, allow me to tell you all the tale of how we freed those captive sea elves and kinder from the terrible dragon army, fended off a black dragon, and even encountered a bronze dragon egg. He's announcing this as in storytelling mode, kind of. Uh... I'm going to step on his foot. <laughs> oh. Mm. Sneaky one you are. Shut up about the egg. As you say that, Dashin, uh, you can't help but notice the middle-aged woman stand up. Is she human, by the way, or is she yes. dwarf? Okay. Yes. And okay. It's the same one, the, the... Right, right, right. It's the mayor. Yeah. yeah. I was just curious of her appearance. Um, I notice her stand up. Okay, then I'm, I'm going to... Well, I come to talk about the egg. That's kind of like our best thing to brag about, you know? It's like... Why would you even I'm, be bragging about that? No, no, no. Just, just don't. I guess I have to play something or we're just going to stand here and watch you bicker and argue. Uh, yes, apologies, apologies. We are just deciding what key to start this next song in, and um, then I'll talk about the worm. <laughs> ah, yes, as my ah, yes, study. that was the tell when I met you guys that came in to save your bacon. I will pull out my flute to help with this performance. Um, I'm, he's gonna kind of off the cuff, you know, Please, just make up a not song in this about... room, but I do actually <laughs> make up some song about the, uh, monstrous worm that was a little larger than it actually was and his retelling of it via lyrics. And, um, there were two of them, as a matter of fact, that <laughs> we, we faced and were pinned against unperilous odds, but we're able to overcome through our fearless nature and perhaps a hint of divine assistance along the way. Uh, but all, of course, in song. Love the band. Uh, you can roll a performance check with advantage with Vera helping. Is it check? 19 or 20 and give them plus 11 so 31 Very I was going nice. to give you bardic inspiration oh you would, you would like to roll that too Heck, you yeah. want to add your determination for proficiency <laughs> to get as high as you can what is that determination adds your proficiency to it so I think you have a plus 2 or 3 It should be at the top of your skills. I don't know what your uh, bardic, by the way, is, but mine's just a d6 at the moment. Yeah, you did a d4. That is, oh, you're, you're thinking about guidance. Be right. No, I was meaning I'm giving him my bardic inspiration. I, I'm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I misrolled. I rolled incorrectly. Okay. So 33, and then you said, where's the? Where can I see the other one? Proficiency bonus should be above your skills. On your sheet. Yeah, I'm looking at my sheet. I just don't. It's usually like a plus two or a plus three. 
Uh, on mine, it's right next to walking speed. Oh, 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 I see it now. Okay, yeah, it's a plus three. Okay, so you know, if you want to 36. use your determination, you can. Yeah, I'll take it. That's a 36. Make for them forget about your slip entirely, please. Uh, he will not talk, talk about the egg, but he is most certainly still talking about having just left combat with the dragon and entering combat with this giant hundred foot worm, two of them. Perhaps three, we can't really tell. We felt one underground. And uh yeah, that that was our, our performance there. I've brought and, uh, ales back for everyone, and I'm sitting raptured with it. As oh, uh mighty courageous of you. It's a lot of worms. You sure you don't have worms in you now? Well, I don't believe so. At least none have come to my attention, but, you know, the work of a hero does sometimes get messy, I suppose. But Lavender can fist that up right for you. As she sits back down. Dashing, even though you rolled a 33, you get the piercing look from her like she saw right through all that bullshit as she sits back down. Uh, well, then I am uh, finishing our set, I guess. Um, I would like to procure whatever she is drinking and go over to the table and bring her a drink and uh, would would I find her fetching? You talking about uh, Ness? Like her physical appearance, yeah. Hey, we've been on the road a long time and I can't get Vera to satisfy me, so I need to find Well, something. I gave you a loophole with uh, Levna. Okay, well then, uh, yeah, I'll still bring her the drink and uh, just be you like, can, oh, you can go you. try. You can go try. Let's... Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push on her in that regard. I am just gonna bring her the drink because I feel like she's treating me a little awkwardly after that, and uh, pass it over and just be like, um, hope you enjoyed the song. Of course, you know, we kind of tricks of the trade. We expound on things, exaggerate, if you will, but uh, for the most part, everything you just said was true. I saw that you conversing with my my kinder friends here, and I'm sure they could have already provided adequate testimony of the uh, of the dangers and the perils that we have faced these past few weeks. Hmm. Your delivery was amazing, but convinced now. That's all she says. And she stands there looking at you as she takes a, an L. Well, um, perhaps oh, I don't have the bag of holding. Nope. Um, well, uh, to each their own, I suppose. Um, would it be possible for me to ask something of you? Uh, you are the mayor. What's this dragon egg that you spoke of a minute ago? Did I say dragon egg? I think yes, I meant did. to say dragon L and just the ales getting to me. And I was just arguing with this gnome, Bob. Uh, I didn't mean to say egg. I meant to say dragon L, not dragon egg. It was a bronze dragon L. You see like a flame almost like flicker of her eyes you hear in your head come now let's not amuse one another with lies what is this dragon egg you hear that in your head okay uh, I will respond back with the uh, message as well um, 
That's not a message. Oh. Uh. Then I will try to, under the table, point my finger at her and cast message to try and emulate what yeah, she you just can do did it, to me. But she's not doing message. I understand. I understand. He's just still trying to emulate or go toe to toe with whatever. Yeah. Parlor tricks are being done on him. Uh. He will say, uh, well, we did see the egg. In fact, I believe I held it for about five seconds uh, until uh, a massive black dragon had come down and the story was a bit exaggerated, but it uh, there most certainly was a dragon. And Do you need I, to save that egg? Quick work of us. Well, I save this tried egg. to save it then. I wasn't able to do it then. What? How would I know where it is now? The dragon took it. Flew off. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Yikes. Seven. Oh. Ah, your mind is focused on an item you're looking for. What if I told you I knew what the item was? He um, checks over his shoulder a little bit, and then he moves in closer, and he says, um, Well, what do you know of such a item? You know what that dragon's hood is, don't you? I've heard tales of it, but, uh, you know, truth be told and prior to the last till last week I kind of thought that the dragons were altogether extinct they're Sometimes sure the you they are not oh yes no I agree I've come face to face with a, a mighty one as it were gather your friends and follow me she starts walking to, she stands up starts walking to the door waiting for you to gather your friends as she steps out. And then I suppose I go try to round up the group. Tell them that uh, the mayor wants to meet with us again. Or, well, the mayor wants to meet with us. So, Mark. Do you like your performance? Uh, backstage passes, you know courtesy of those that are in high government. Could have at least got another drink first. Of course, that sounds like a capital idea. Oh, mm -hmm. I said capital. Ellison, young man. How are those drinks coming along? Why don't you get a couple for us for the road so we can go into this uh, talk to the mayor here? Absolutely, sir. I'll be back. Dashin, I go. Oh, wait, hold on. Dashin, I'll follow you anywhere. Ooh. As you can tell, that Levna is a little tipsy at this moment. Ooh. Well, perhaps when I find out what room I'll be staying in, I shall tell you where to follow me then. Oh, you followed me to my bin. I'll have my own room, right? Plucky is. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Let's go. Grab the ales. What's the tall one? What's your, what's your other tall, dull elf? Um... After after I uh, was caught not drinking my ale, I uh, walked outside. So I'm just outside the Salt Lake, like back on the mosaic area. Oh, you went all the way up there? Not all the way up, but I mean, I'm looking oh. at the map. It looks like the mosaic kind of goes all the way down. No, it goes all the way up. Well, you come, okay. Uh, the, the path up to the surface, you came down from there all the way down. Yeah. yeah, but I think he's just saying the ground. Like, does looks the, the isn't the ground? Oh, yeah, I guess. 
going on. I guess. Like, so just yeah, back out onto like that main okay. you just area. Okay. So a little bit, you see uh, the mayor walk out that you saw earlier. Look at you. you I just kind of keep an eye, keep an eye on her. She gives you one of the nods to follow, and she starts heading down. All okay. the way down. Um, I don't follow immediately. I, I'm kind of. Does everybody follow? Keep an eye on her. Is are, are, were they still inside or had they come out yet? Uh, the, or were they Dash, still getting ale? Yeah, Dashtrin was gathering everybody up, I think. Yeah. I've handed as many people as I can in ale. And everybody goes out. Mila, Vera. Yeah. Where were we going? I think we're heading the path down to the tunnels. I, I, I'm asking Daz. Oh, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it seems the uh, mayor wants to talk with us privately. Uh, says she might have some things of uh, some information of value for us. Speaking of, mm-hmm. what prompted you to stomp on my delicate foot? Glad to know they're that delicate. Where are, I'll continue to aim. She has a thing for the egg we uh, saw at the camp. Really strange thing for someone like a mayor in the middle of nowhere to be fixated on, in my opinion. Let alone to know is out there with the dragon army when she claimed that they haven't had much dealings with the dragon army. It was it was just fishy, uh, so we didn't really need to give up any information. Automatically, she seemed to maybe be able to help us with our mission. Well, you see, that's kind of the best thing about doing great things is talking about great things and letting others realize how great you are. Even your great big mistake? Do you remember what happened before that dragon came by? Do you remember the battle leading up to that? Do we want to talk about that great big thing? Now, yeah, you know, think so. I have been working hard on putting that behind me, and I would ask you to keep it down so that my fans do not hear about shortcomings. Dash, you hear in your head, you're coming to what? By the way, Vera, she seems to be in my head somehow. Uh, not in the same sense that, you know, I can... And I point at her real quick and use message to say communicate. Uh, but something else. She seems to be talking to me right now. That's impatient. even weirder. And that's simultaneously to everybody you hear in your head. I guess I have to convince you to come. What I'm using is telepathy. Get done, bud. Let's go. That wasn't really convincing. I don't want to go now. Wait, you all heard that too? I tried so. I definitely heard it. Oh, my. So we're following the creepy mayor to a nondescript place. All right. Is I am that not man? creepy. You're in our you. heads for no apparent reason. You could just speak to us. Natia. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Dame Levna. Would you mind? Staying here, and if you don't hear back from us within the next 15 minutes, uh, you can go back to the rest of our uh, battalion and send them here. All right, uh, 
More ale for me, I guess. Uh, take care of insulin. It will serve you well. I am going to go over to her first and put my hands on her and cast Lay on Hands for just one HP in order to get rid of her drunkenness. That wasn't necessary. I can hold my alcohol. All right, th this is a mission. It, 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 I don't know how much plainer I need to say. If if we die in the next couple minutes, you need to come and check that out. With help. Well, I see no fighters. You'll be fine. It's just the mayor, right? Someone we don't know. Yeah. And a secret hole in the ground. How about we this? don't if even you're know not she works for the Dragon Army, for instance. Who has She's the fog gap? The Don't you use that too? The dragon army. I need the fog gap. Give me the fog gap. Give me the fog gap then. That way I can call them quicker and then come help you. I give her the fog gap. Alright. Alrighty. Then I'll head with this mayor. I would like to whisper something to her. Um, To who? Uh, Levna. Levna? Le yeah. Okay. Levna. Uh, now that is the one with the similar oh. blonde hair, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so when I go to whisper, I want to, like, you know, move the locks of hair over her ears so I can whisper right into it and blow a little bit and say, um, of course, don't be too impatient. You know, waiting is, anticipating is sometimes the best part. And then walk off. To catch up to the group. She quickly looks around as you walk away, smacks you right on the ass as you walk out. And she doesn't say a word as she's looking over this. Sorry, all right, how to how to use this thing? <laughs> all right, so as y'all head out, she's waiting as she's kind of walking down. To the tunnels and I'll say we'll cut it there for tonight I, so. I assume she sent her squire with us yeah that's the one she, she already told him to serve you so and while she waited for you waits for you at the salt lake so I think we'll cut it there it is 10 o'clock for me. I do have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. But next week, uh, we'll have our standard time. Uh, I think we'll do, what, 7.30. Is that good enough for you, Sindel? Perfect. All right. We'll do 7.30 because Sindel does get off at 7 Pacific Standard Time. So we'll do 7.30 next Sunday. I'm not on Sunday. Next Friday. Right. Get my campaigns messed up already. So uh, with that being said, thank you for watching uh thank you for the raid silver wolf thank you for the follows uh jazzy sets 98 and ala mag mag whatever 23 thank you <laughs> i'm sorry i guess i had a name al mag etina whatever thank you for the follows thank you for the raid silver wolf uh one last time around the horn everybody and go from top down and as I start looking for people to raid. All right. My name is Cleansing Rain. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, I sometimes talk too much and sing too often, uh, but I'm happy to be Dashton once again. Looking forward to resuming Dashton's antics and uh, still trying to be the hero that he knows he can be somewhere deep down. Um, I do stream every other week on average uh, for a D&D campaign of my own. As you can see on Monday nights that a couple faces here you might recognize appearing over there. Uh, other than that, that's me. Uh, I'm DVD player. I don't stream anymore, but I did. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I'm just happy to be uh, playing again. It's been a long time since I've played. I've 
DM'd a few campaigns, but haven't gotten to play. Nihilish? Nope. Oh, be next. Uh, Nihilish? Um, that's said. Uh, I, uh, also do join, um, both Jugen and, uh, Rain up there for a game, um, every now and every, every, uh, Mondays. Monday. Every now Monday. and then. Yeah, just keep it, keep, keep an eye on Rain's stream. Um, otherwise my streams are on hiatus at the moment. Um, and that's it. Move on. Alrighty. Bookworm. Yeah, I'm Bookworm. Um, like I said, I haven't really played a lot of D&D. This is my first really big campaign. Um, although I did remember, I actually am a part of Jugen, another of Jugen's campaigns. On um, So yeah, if you want to check out The Black Order, that is super fun. I think it just goes to YouTube. Um, you can correct me on that. But check yeah. it out. It's super fun. Um, and I think we're about to start refilming or start filming that again as well. So yeah, super excited. And also you're other person that's in it, Sindal's right next to you in the Black Order. Yep. It's good to be playing again. Kind of, kind of a long hiatus, and it's good to be back. Back campaign that I originally wanted to be in, so that's mm -hmm. fun. And uh, Bookworm and I are also, yep, in Dragonlance and in uh, Black Order, and we play very different characters <laughs> in, in that one, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, I gave a shout out to Cleanse and Rain. It will be there Monday night for uh, I play Lithin the Grave Cleric along with Nalish. And we'll be back with that one. Uh, make sure you tune in for that. Uh, we'll be raiding into uh, uh, the Origami Guru, who's also in that game with us. So he's playing, uh, what is this? T uh, seven days to die so he's been doing that i don't have any other D, D streamers on right now so we'll raid into him show some love i think it's the first time we ever raided into him actually uh yeah uh if you're watching on youtube please like subscribe leave a comment down below with your favorite part if you want to catch us live hit the link down there and come over and see us uh and also join our discord that's going point discord uh we do giveaways every now and then i haven't done one this month because i i just boils on the laziness i guess i keep forgetting and um yeah uh i think that's about it there's merch exclamation point merch you get one of these fancy little t-shirts or hoodies or whatever last month i gave away a coffee cup so anyway with that being said we love you very much you guys have a wonderful night and i'll see you back here sunday night for order the goblet have a good night guys have a good one
again I can feel it burning 